Virgo and everybody else watching, if you are here right now, there's a message for you. You were meant to be here because there are no coincidences in the universe. So stay tuned and when you come across that message, I strongly encourage you to say yes to it. So take a nice deep breath, you claim it for yourself and say yes to it. This is a general reading for love for the month of September for the zodiac energy of Virgo, please take it as it resonates. I am going to take a look at your challenge, then I'm going to do your tarot, clarify, end off with an oracle message, and do a little bit of a recap at the end, just to make sure that you get all the messages. Just stay tuned until the end to make sure that you get everything with me, Adrian Nelson, your Psychic Tarot Reader. Let's see challenge for Virgo for the month of September, please, when it comes to love. Most of you are also having your birthday in this month, Virgo, so please allow me to, from my heart, wish you the most beautiful, beautiful, blessed birthday on the planet. Virgo, you have got the six of wands. Victory, success, beauty, positive karma, all those wonderful things that you did, everything coming back in equal measure. All very beautiful, all very fast, positive. However, it is in your challenge. And when I was preparing your reading, um, I actually had um, this whole feeling that was coming up that for some of you, it's almost like you might be still holding a little bit of a grudge there in the past, holding on to the past. Um, I don't know, sort of like, I'm not gonna, I'm whatever, gonna show them whatever the case may be. Um, so it really is time to accept that the time for you, for all your heart's desires to come true when it comes to love is now, but somehow it's in a challenging position for you. So let's draw another two or three cards for that and see why is that. Why is it that a card that is all about success is lying in a challenging position for you? So at the bottom of the deck, I have got the Nine of Cups, which is all about your hopes coming true, your dreams coming true. It's a magical space. It's new beginnings. But then the card that popped out in reverse was the King of Swords. Some of you are really, really holding on to that past, not letting go, not releasing, sort of like, I'm not going to say anything until they say anything type of thing, you know, I'm not going to be the one to make the first move. Um, there, there's, a, there's a sense of stubbornness here, and we're going to take a little bit of a look deeper, Virgo, but, you know, when you want things in life, you got to speak up for it. Whether it is that you speak up to another person, whether it is that you speak up in energy, because this block feels like it's mostly in energy, you know. I will be with them, I'll give them a chance, I'll give life a chance, I'll give love a chance, but I'm not going to be the one to take the first moves. I'm not going to do things, and if I do them, then maybe I'm the one who ends up being hurt. Last time, I was the one who ended up with pie in my face. I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to allow that again. You may think that that comes from a point of logic, but really from... Typically speaking, that typically comes from a point of view. Okay, let's see what has happened in the past. What is the impact from the past that has brought you, Virgo, to where you are at this um, particular point in time? Because there must be a reason why you are feeling this way. Um, because there's a real sense of hesitation here. And hesitation to something that can actually be really great for you. You know, um, Two cards there for your recent past. You've got a Justice energy, Libra energy, and you also got a bit of a balance there happening. So, balance and balance. Both of them, they're in the recent past. Um, I feel that you're dealing here with someone, this is coming out quite clear in my mind, that, you know, they paid their dues. They, um, you know, maybe you hurt someone, they hurt you. But it's like they paid their dues, you know. Um, it's it, And I feel that for some of you, you may have been sitting with this for a while, that you might be thinking about someone, reaching out to someone, maybe just reaching out to love again, knowing that you're ready for that, feeling that you're ready for that, knowing that you healed from that. But there's still that sense of like, well, you know, I had lo love once in my life, so I don't really need it again. Now I'm going to be fine, that sort of thing. Let's see what is happening in your current space. Patience. All right. And in traditional tarot, this is the temperance card. And this is about letting you know that you are still learning, that the best is yet to come for your beautiful Virgo, that you 
in life, you're not always going to have all the, you know, the details. All the cards are not always going to be on the table. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing, you know. A lot of times, for example, well, not a lot of times, but sometimes, when I maybe do a tarot reading for someone, you know, the outcome seems very inconclusive. Somebody had that. I can't remember who it was now. I think it was Capricorn, but I can't remember for sure. But there was that energy where sometimes there's not a definitive outcome. And the simple reason for that is because all parties involved haven't made up their mind. You know, you haven't reached out, the other person hasn't reached out. Um, so there's not sort of like a solid sort of thing set in energy just yet. Obviously, energy can change. You change your mind, they change your mind, everything changes. But this is a space where I feel that there's still a lot of healing taking place within the self. But what I am going to say to you, Virgo, is that if you feel that you need some time, if you really feel that you need some time, and you really feel that you're not ready, don't overwhelm yourself with, oh, I must do this and I must do that. Give yourself some time. Explore maybe why is it that I'm feeling this way? You know, why is it that I have this uncertainty, this fear, this on the fence vibe, you know, about, you know, being with someone? Why is it that I'm actually having that? Okay? What is the reason for that? Because once you understand the reason, then you get the true sort of motivation behind the emotion. And once you understand that, then you can proactively do something about healing that. All right. Let's see. Oh, interesting stuff. Who else had this? I think it was Aries in this position. There's a space of really growing this it's almost like you're in the space where you're really getting clarity about exactly what it is that you want to have in love exactly how it is that you want to feel in love and a lot of times people may see those those things as delays they'll be like well just go just follow your heart and maybe that is the right advice for them but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the right advice for you so if you do feel that you need some time um, I can see that you've done the healing, but if you feel that you need some time to be ready, it doesn't mean that you're not healed yet, it just means that you need some time to feel ready. And so you want to give yourself that time so that you really get a clear um, perspective in your mind for what it is beautiful Virgo that you want to have in a love connection, because by getting the clarity in your mind, that is also how you are attracting that into your life. So know that your thoughts are powerful and that's how you attract exactly what you are drawing into your life did you get to a point where you are ready to fully be yourself with another person because i feel very strongly that that is what you want to have that you want to have that space where you can be 100 percent fully comfortably conveniently be yourself with another person i feel for many of you are contemplating if that is with the person that you initially thought that was going to be with or if that might be with someone else only you have the answer to that all right but what do we have in the potential outcome what do we have in the potential outcome here when it comes to love for virgo for the month of september please angels guides and guardian angels what do my beautiful virgos need to know Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Star energy, Aquarius energy. This is that real space where you just get the most beautiful, 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 beautiful love that you can ever ask for. So really do take your time. Don't rush into things. Take your time. Get the clarity that you need before moving on. Okay? Because it is the clarity that is making it possible for you to align with that perfect divine counterpart of yours. This is you feeling your twin flame and beginning to make that connection with your twin flame. Um, you and your twin flame basically being drawn to one another. And it might be in this twin flame connection that there might have been, as there can be in almost any twin flame connection really, quite a lot of opposition sometimes initially, you know where you sometimes really bring out the worst in one another, fight it out with one another, um, and then eventually at the end sort of really go to that next level together. Okay. It's amazing because very few people are 
able to to be at the point where you're at and really get a beautiful outcome. Right. Let's clarify then the recent past. What is it that you need to know, beautiful Virgo, then the recent past when it comes to love? So amazing. This card actually popped out. I put it back and it's the first one that came out again. Um, definitely dealing with your divine counterpart here. There's the fighting, those challenges, um, whatever you go that way, whatever, I don't care type of thing that could have happened there for some of you. Um, there was definitely sort of like a, I feel like a break in communication. It seems like for, for, for some of you, you may have been dealing with someone that there might be a sense of knowing between the two of you. Bruno! Now my lips are dry, so I can't whistle properly. properly. Um, sorry about that, Virgos. But you're dealing with someone that's willing to give their heart, and you're dealing with someone that really wants the absolute best for you. Which is, I mean, what you should want, what we all want. All right? Let's see what's happening here in your current space, this encouragement for you to give yourself time. Bruno! Lots of emotions here. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a fellow, another water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Cancer. I don't really feel Cancer that strongly, but it's possible. Okay. Could also be dealing with a Scorpio, even a Capricorn, because that energy is also coming out. So lots of different energies happening here. And it's almost again like life is asking, what did you actually want? What did you like to have? You know, and being reminded that once again that by your emotions you create. But whatever you say no to, there's, there's, there's sort of like a story reminded to you here when it comes to manifesting literally anything. You decide what you'd like to have, what you say yes to. And a lot of times before we know what you say yes to, we need to understand what you say no to. So what do you say yes to? What are then the no's that are no longer acceptable? And then moving into that beautiful energy. All right. Let's see some deeper exploration of your inner energy. Going forward, beautifully building a life together there, building a home together there, building peace of mind within each other together there. It feels like a very familiar energy. And it feels like, like, like the two of you were sort of done with each other. Like as done as done can be. And then there's that second chance. Second chance for this twin flame connection. And here's that energy again, that temperance energy again for the second time showing up in your current space, letting you know that easy does it, step by step, you know, take it step by step, don't rush things. Get to know yourself better, get to know the person better. Um, you know, you can, this is a person I feel that you're dealing with, this is a person that you can grow a beautiful friendship with. A best friend, so a, like a bestie type of vibe with BFF with, even though you are in a committed relationship. So this is a bestie sort of relationship, a bestie sort of connection. So you both, you're getting the best of both worlds basically in this connection. Okay. If you give it time, don't rush into things. All right. Just one card for the energy going forward. New beginnings. Again, new beginning with your twin flame. Second chance for a twin flame connection. Okay. Let's see what we've got in Oracle Energy for you, beautiful Virgo. But if that resonates with you, if it's helpful, definitely go up it and give that video a like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, so you know when your weekly readings are coming out. Let's see from the Keepers of the Light. What does Virgo need to know, please? What is it that Virgo must know? What is it that Virgo needs to know in this beautiful connection? Freya. Phases and cycles. You've gone through the phases, you've gone through the cycles. There is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. So you may have thought that it's the end of the two of you, but it was just another new cycle that needed to take place. Sometimes we need to know what it's like to be without someone, to really get the clarity of mind, to know you don't want to be without them. And when something happens, you'd rather sort it out than write things off. Okay, so do take your time, beautiful connection, twin flame connection, second chance happening over here, 
um, uh, literally your your person becoming your best friend and that is really beautiful that is that is a beautiful thing to get and that's what's available for you but do take your time okay i'm not saying delay but take your time you know don't rush things let it take its own sort of pace healthy pace so that's what i got for you Virgos. i hope that it helps and if you are open to deep exploration of your energy potential for love, go ahead, book a personal reading. The details on how to do this is the description. Also in the description, there's a link for my step-by-step -step tarot reading course. There's a link for my free oracle card reading course. Go ahead and check that out as well. From my heart, namaste, love and light. See you next week. Bye.